you can now edit and work with a Microsoft document or a Microsoft presentation or a Microsoft spreadsheet right inside of Google Drive, which is pretty darn cool and is available for free as well. Opening Excel and Word via Google Drive only opens in read only. How can I change this so I can edit these documents on iOS devices? Thanks very much. Now that's a very interesting question because Word and Excel have actually been built into Google Drive now. And for the backstory on that, Google or Microsoft, sorry, when they created the newer versions of their documents, they used an XML format to actually save them. And that was a open source piece of software. And they were basically forced by lawsuit very long time ago to create their format to be open and basically you know republish how to access and work with those documents. Now, a number of providers created third-party tools to edit Word and Excel documents right out of the box. And Google purchased one of those. It was called, I think, Quick Office on the iPad. And they actually built that technology right into Google Drive on the web. And what that means is you can now edit and work with a Microsoft document or a Microsoft presentation or a Microsoft spreadsheet right inside of Google Drive, which is pretty darn cool and is available for free as well. Now, there aren't really many restrictions to what you can do with those documents. They are pretty basic and they don't allow you to do things like live editing with colleagues that are specifically designed for Google Documents. But if you do want to work with one of them, you can open it in Google Drive just like you would with any other document. Now, this questioner says that they are read only. And what that says to me is it's possible that the documents have been shared with you by someone else and they've actually only been shared on a read only basis. And what that tells me is if you don't have access to edit them, maybe you're not the owner of the document. So there's a couple of ways that you can manage that. You can right click on the document and you can create a copy. And creating a copy is going to give you full editing rights to do what you like with them. If you're on an iOS device or a desktop, it shouldn't really matter what access you have to the document. You can still work on and manage and edit that document as long as you have the correct permission. So if you have a file in your Google Drive right now and you don't have permission to access it, well, it's quite possible it's shared in read only. Making a copy is one workaround, or you can always ask the owner of that document to share edit access with you, or maybe it's sitting in a folder that you wanna check and get edit access from as well. You can also do that. Hope that was helpful. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.